Hello people from uh, Laytown in County Mead and I'm just sitting here on uh, a bench and I'm waiting on the bus today because um, there's no train service in Dublin they're doing work further on up the line so I'm waiting on the bus here to go to Dublin so uh, you're all welcome to come along for the spin okay well after coming up there now <coughs> on Matthew's coaches from Leighton and I'm not at the proper stop where, where the bus stops because the car is after um, swerving in at the side of the bus and the bus hit the side, the side of the car so um, I have to walk. So if you're getting the Matthews coach back towards Drada, just up here on the left is where they um, it leaves from. So they normally leave here every hour. But uh, actually there's a the Matthews coach there now, right? So because of that little crash there, um, they got off before my stop. Um, Oh, it's a great service if you're travelling from um, down close to Drada, which is close to where I live, right? Um, it's an early, early service which matches coach to Dublin and it takes in the whole area of, say, Grange Rat, Dunnacarney, Morningtown, um, Bettystown, Laytown, and Juniorstown, and then goes direct up the motorway all the way into um, Dublin here. So check, it, check, check them out, matches coaches. And now I'm going to Conley train station to head out to Dorky and Kalini. So that monument just there is uh, to do with the, as you, as you see there, the Dublin and Monaghan bombings of 1974. Remember the, the troubles in the north were at the height then, so nobody was ever um, made responsible for, for, the, for those um, atrocities, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so they're doing works today on the railway line here, up near, I think it's Hope Junction, or up that direction. So that's why I couldn't get a train into Dublin today. I got the um, matches coach. So I'm just waiting here now for the dart to come in, so that I can hop on and go out as far as um, Dalky. And then I'm going to walk from Dalky up to Kalini and show you Kalini. So you're all welcome to come along for a spin, okay? Well, that was a pleasant um, train journey from Dublin Connolly out as far as uh, Doggy here. Uh, these two girls sat down beside me. They were about, I'd say, 25. One was Irish and one was French. And um, I just loved the way 
the French speak English. It was just so pleasant and um, she was absolutely gorgeous. So I was in heaven <laughs> coming out on the, on the dart as far as docky. So let's go now and I, I, in here to docky, I'll get something to eat and then um, we'll head up towards Kalini Hill, okay? Right, so um, that's the pub I'm after getting my dinner in there, the Collymore it's called. Um, it was 15 euros for the burger and the chips and with the pot of tea it came to 20 euros 70 cent. Now that's a bit pricey okay but then again we're in Dorky on the south side of Dublin city. This is an exclusive area here so you have a lot of middle class and uh, some famous people living out here. I'm just going to show you a road here before you head up up to Kalini Hill called Sorrento Road. So this is Finnegan's pub here, established in 1868. Right, so I'm just going to do a little bit of name name dropping now if you're into that kind of thing, right? Um, so a lot of famous people lived up here in Dorky and still do. Uh, one of them colleges just at back there, opposite Finnegan's Pub, originally um, was owned by British war correspondent Robert Fisk, and um, you know Robert Robert Fisk covered mainly the wars in the Middle East. He covered the Russian invasion of Afghanistan and the Iran-Iraq war and the two Gulf wars and a lot of the civil war in Lebanon. And he met and married um, another journalist, American journalist called Lara Marlow. And they um, got married. And he moved out of that house there and he moved further on up here in Sorrento Road. Um, and Lara is, uh, she's a, a journalist for the Irish Times based in France, in Paris actually. She covers, she's the French correspondent for the Irish Times. And um, if you're into reading about um, any of those conflicts, I suggest you read Robert's book um, on it'll cover, cover all of the civil war in the Lebanon called uh, Pity the Nation. Brilliant book. And he has another book that covers it's over a thousand pages and it's from it covers from um, the invasion of Afghanistan in 1979 by the Russians right up to the two Gulf Wars. And it's called The Great War for Civilization and it's a fantastic read. And Lara Marlow had, well, two books that I read of Lara Marlow. One was called The Things I've Seen, which was, if you want an in-depth uh, warts and all view on the ugliness of war and conflict, uh, you should read, read that book. And she just recently published a book um, a, 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 about her time with Robert Fisk. Uh, and in the Middle East called Love in a Time of War and it's um, sad of course because the marriage ended right and um, but uh, it's um, a fantastic read so look out for them two books and unfortunately Robert Fisk passed away I think before last 
Christmas maybe not too sure here here in 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 uh, doggy um, and he was made like an Irish citizen here as well so he had a dual passport so uh, yeah so that's that's a bit of name dropping there and um, I think I'm not too sure now whether Van Morrison lived up here on Sorrento Road as well so I don't know if he's still there but lived up along here so let's go on now and I'll head up towards uh, Kalini and if you follow my channel I do have a video that I've done on Dockey here going back not on as nice a day as a day but check it out Right, so I'm just leaving um, Dockey Village here now and I'm heading up Dockey Avenue towards Kalini Hill. So all this area here would be um, like Ireland's version of the Hollywood Hills. You know I mean you have Bono living up here and you have, um, I think the, the Edge from U2 has a house up here. Uh, loads of, if you want to call them famous people, have houses up here. I'll talk more about it as a go forward, okay? There's um, the big modern house across the road there. Um, that's after call. See, that costs a, a few million for for sure. It's actually two modern houses. They look the same. Some beautiful. Pretty looking houses up here as well with beautiful gardens. Um, you won't get people that live on the minimum wage up here in Kalini. No, no, you won't. It's all rich people, successful people, famous people live up here. See what I mean? Huge, huge houses here. Huge. Um, Right, so I'm going up into the park here. I don't know why it's called Kalini Hill or what, but anyway. So I'm going to go up here and there's great views over back towards Dublin, Dublin Bay, uh, towards Dublin City and south towards Bray and the Wicklow Mountains. So this is a huge big park here. So let's go up it and investigate. It's just beautiful up here, my friends, beautiful. So peaceful. And I'm looking down there now on Dockey. Down there. It's where I started the video, just down there somewhere. All that area there is Dockey, actually. And that peninsula you see over there, that's Hot Head over there. And Dublin Bay goes right into Dublin there and um, yeah so what do you think ah, the peacefulness up here is just incredible we'll look up to the very top here and I'll show you his views towards the south along the Irish coast towards Bray and Wicklow it's just breathtaking views here I have to say breathtaking look at look at the, the lovely uh, untouched buttercups Cool, aren't they? And that's some that's a wild plant as well, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now people, uh, just looking out this way here. I'm looking south um, towards, right over here is, in the distance there is Bray and Bray Head and there's a fantastic walk around Bray Head, a six mile walk that will bring you down to Greystones and you can also go on the dark train from Dublin out to Greystones. You could stop at, at Bray or vice versa and say walk from Bray to Greystones or go out to Greystones and walk from Greystones back to Bray. And the mountain peaks you can see out here, I can't think of the name of this first one, Kilmacconnig or something, Kilmac I can't pronounce it. And the one over here is the Sugarloaf Mountain. 
and I've climbed that about five times. Um, so down there is Wicklow, uh, a whole beautiful area of Ireland on uh, the east coast here, just south of Dublin city. So as you can see, there's a lovely, beautiful Irish sea. And you probably can't see it on, on the GoPro, but there's a couple of sailing boats out there just in the tranquil, beautiful blue Irish sea off the coast of Kalini. Beautiful. So what do you think? Isn't it fantastic, isn't it? Um, see these wild plants here as well called the dandelion, look. You see them? Try um, not to, uh, if you have them in your garden, try not to cut them with your lawnmower because the bees absolutely love them. Nice, no, certainly. Right, so I'll just wander in more in this uh, Kleine Hill here. Beautiful trees here. Beautiful. Listen, can you hear the birds? There's a dog anyway. <laughs> Bloody dog. Anyway, um, every time I'm about to say, can you hear the birds? They stop. Um, oh, it's just so peaceful here, so peaceful. Wow. Love it, love it. And there's a great view through the through the trees here towards um, Bray, just over there. I don't know if you can see it with the GoPro, just right through there. Fantastic view. Now, just down below me there, it looks like that's Kalini Beach down there. And as I said, the train track goes all the way down. You can't see it now, just down there. Leads all the way down towards Bray and on towards Greystone. Greystone is the last spot south of Dublin City for the Dart electric train. But there's also an ordinary train, uh, a diesel locomotive that will, that will go all the way from Dublin all the way down to Wexford and on to Rosslare, which is the Europort if you're going over to, to France. And I think you can go to England as well from Rosslare too, as well as Dublin. But um, yeah, so beautiful, isn't it? Just beautiful. It's fantastic, isn't it? Fantastic. I'll tell you people, get out in nature. Um, it really, really is good. For, it's good for you. I have to say, it's good for your mental health, for definite. Um, I love visiting cities as well, and towns, and villages, and all that. But um, I think nature beats the whole lot of them. Um, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just fantastic. There's no other word to say only fantastic to be out in nature beautiful look at these trees aren't they gorgeous the sun shining oh my god lovely green trees the birds singing ah oh. there's nothing there's nothing else you can ask for well i can't anyway on a, on a day like like today it's just brilliant i'm delighted to be alive on a day like today in my own company i don't have to worry about anybody else or if someone else wants to move on or wants to stay in the one spot or whatever you don't have to worry about anybody just only yourself and which means you can relax more oh little robin there you can't see him on the gopro just there hello mr robin or mrs robin hello hello how are you today isn't it a beautiful day isn't it yeah Beautiful day to be flying from tree to tree and branch to branch and air on the grass. Cool.
the, the, the actual stillness just here is fantastic. Fantastic. Just, uh, I love to see this on trees. Look, it's a little fairy door. Someone took the time to paint a door on the tree so that children going on a walk with their parents or whatever can say, oh look, mom and dad, look at the fairy house on the tree. Isn't that so cool? Ah, oh, it is cool, that's cool. Right, I don't know, again, I keep saying this about the, go <coughs> the GoPro because it's only got a fixed lens. Well, you can zoom in, but you have to then re redo it then after you take the shot. But anyway, um, that's back again towards Dorky there. And as you can see a row of white terraced houses along there, just down there, right? Well, as far as I know, I think the Edge, uh, which, who's the, the guitarist of U2, owns one of them houses and the director and producer Neil Jordan know him he has uh, he owns one of, one of them houses down there I think so that's back now towards um, Dockey and over there is Dockey Island and I see a lighthouse as well over there so yeah that's back you know Dockey is a beautiful beautiful area of South Dublin I told you it's exclusive but um, it's, it's also beautiful and so is up here in Kalini Hill so um, I'll just walk on more here in, in a, I don't know what to call this, Kalini Hill Park or whatever, but anyway, so, uh, fantastic day my friends, fantastic day. Right, so you've heard of um, the pyramids of Egypt and uh, the Mayan pyramids in um, Mexico and stuff, but you, know, you haven't heard of um, the Ireland pyramid, this is a huge pyramid here. In up on Kalini Hill, south of Dublin. Have a look at this. This is Ireland's <laughs> version of the pyramid. Well, that's what I'm calling it. It's the, the Ar Ireland pyramid. Let's go and have a walk up it. So, you can climb up it here. Ireland's pyramid. I feel like I'm on top of the world here. This is just fantastic, I have to say, fantastic. And all for free. You know what I mean? All for free. Just beautiful, beautiful. So, this is called Victoria Hill. Everywhere you go, you just can't um, not talk about um, the British influence on Ireland because uh, this plaque here, they're saying this hill, this park was, um, let me see now, acquired by the Queen Jubilee Memorial Association, Dublin, the 21st of July, What's that? 1887, the day appointed for the celebration of the 50th year of the reign of Her Majesty Queen Victoria. Opened as a public park the 30th of June 1887 by His Royal Highness Prince Albert, Victor of Wales. So there you go. And um, as you can see from this point here, you get a 360 degree view um, and back that way there, you're, you're actually looking here now basically at the whole of Dublin. There's Dublin Bay there 
and those chimneys over there um, that's the entrance into Dublin port and also the centre of Dublin is over there the river Liffey goes in over there and this is all, where I am now as your course is all on the south side here so basically speaking you're looking virtually at the whole of Dublin all around here all the way down and then out this side is the Irish Sea and the east coast out here and then this way you're looking southeast southeast down this way Right, so, there's lots of famous people live down here in Kalini, or did live down here in Kalini. As I said, Bono lives down here, has a house down here. I, um, who else now? Um, do you know you, you won Enya? I think she sold over 60 million records worldwide. She lives down here. Um, who else? Uh, Damien Hill, who was the world champion, a, a Formula One driver. He used to live down here and so did Eddie Irvin and so did um, Jim Kerr, the lead singer with Simple Minds. Um, who else? Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else now. Um, let me see. Also the singer, um, what's her name, is Elisa Stansfield. Remember the song, Being Around the World. And I can't find my baby, I don't know why, and I don't know but where. She but she lived here for a while too, so yeah. Um, there's probably other people that lived here too, but I, I don't know, I forget them. Anyway, that's um, name dropping if you're into that kind of thing, you know. Right, I can't um, <coughs> zoom in here on the GoPro, but I'll put a picture up here of where I think um, Enya's house is, because she has a kind of a castle. It's just down there, so I'll take a picture. I'll zoom in on the camera and take a picture, and I'll pull it up onto the video now. Okay, so this could be Enya's house that I'm taking a picture of now. Okay. Right, I'm going to go in here and see if I can get a cup of tea in here. So, tea and a lemon slice cake sitting in the shade here. Uh, in the tea room on Kalini Hill Park, listening to a man playing the banjo. See him over there, He's playing away the banjo. What more could you ask for on a lovely sunny day, my friends? Right, so I'm just walking along, I think this is called Victoria Road here, and um, again, there's loads of uh, private dwellings along here, houses. Now, there's a castle in there, right? Now, I think that's where Enya lives. You know, um, I don't know, like, she, she was huge in America as well. And um, <clears throat> the only song that I know of her is Ar Aranoco Flow. To the east, to the west, where the little Aranoco. I can't sing it, but anyway. Um, I think that's her place in there. And, um, yeah, so this is Ireland's version of 
the Hollywood Hills, my friends. Yep. Another somebody else in there, obviously. Right, so this is um, Vico Road, or Vico Road, and this is the road where Bono lives. I don't know exactly, I've seen a picture of his big, big house, uh, but I don't know, I don't know exactly where, where it is. But it's on this road. Maybe it's in there, I don't know. Now just here, up behind them trees, I don't know, that might be Bono's house and that might be part of his gardens here i'm just thinking or i could be totally wrong i know he lives in a big big huge house there's a big big huge house there but i don't think it's that could be though although i doubt it i think he's more um hidden size of them houses wow so this is called one vehicle and there is um security cameras there so <laughs> i was going to i was going to put the gopro stick it up over the wall to see what kind of house it was but uh there's security cameras so i don't think i'll do that my friends Um, does anybody remember these cars here? They're called the Renault 4, look. That's an old car. Probably 70s, early 80s maybe. I'll take a picture of it. You see what I mean? It's all gated communities up here and all you see is like electric gates um, and security cameras everywhere so uh, it just yeah it's that's why they call it the, the Hollywood Hills you know right people so that's it from my visit uh, to Kalini starting in Dalky and ending here in Kalini um, hope you enjoyed uh, the trip and i'll catch us all in the next video i've no idea where it's going to be but it'll be somewhere so stay tuned right and here's a dark train coming into Kalini, heading towards bray bray so that's going south and i'm waiting on the one to go north back to dublin city back to Connolly station take care bye